Hi everyone, welcome to Ice Rink Diaries, and today we're going to replace the impeller on the wash water system. All right, just to show you um, some perspective here where the wash water pump is. I got my uh, gloves and my pump there and everything I need and my wrenches, so I'm going to take those four bolts off right there. Um, our old 500 actually has, some, has flathead screws, so um, this one just has bolts. So it's going to unloosen these ones here real quick. We got five of them here. And just for your um, your nuts, this is a 7 16th wrench. Socket, I guess. Deep socket. So this plate here, as you can see, it's it's kind of upside down, so we gotta note that. These bolt holes have to be lined up properly. So let's go ahead. Oh, it's stuck on there. There is a gasket you gotta be careful with. Alright, there she is. So let's note which way it spins because that's also important. We'll grab the pliers here. Not too concerned about messing it up. It's uh, pretty burnt up anyway. Oh, there we go. So let's see if we get a better light on that. You can kind of see how it's kind of some more. Uh, uh, you know, it actually just really looks, that one looks, I've seen it worse. I've actually seen tape balls and stuff. You guys leave on the ice, suck up in there. So you can see that this wasn't really uh, sucking water up. It was pretty, uh, got pretty burnt up. While I open this bag right here, I'm going to show you some schematics of the wash water system. Explain a little bit how the wash water system works. Then we'll get back and install the, the new impeller. I just want to show you real quickly what the wash water system looks like. Um, it, once you turn your water on from the wash water tank, it sprays water. Um, from the sides towards inward and it washes and rinses the ice like I said and then it gets sucked back up via the wash water pump back into the tank and that water is recycled and it's continually recycled and you lose some of it on the ice but not very much um, whereas the hot water is just dumped onto the ice so again the wash water when you open the valve up it squirts the water towards the center of the ice underneath the conditioner between uh, the squeegee and the blade there's a wash water system and then it gets sucked back up via wash water pump back into the tank. So that's the schematic of the wash water system. Now I'm going to open the wash water valve so you guys can really see how much water comes out and where it comes out. So as we turn it on, it squirts towards the center, rinsing the ice off. We turn the water off here before it floods itself. And there's a little intake hose right underneath there. And it comes up here, then it, there's a 45 degree elbow, then it comes over this way into the wash water pump. Then the wash water pump pumps it all the way back this way, up this way, up the side, and it comes out right here, and then it loops down into the basket there and it gets cleaned out and recycled. And the wash water gets continuously gets recycled. And over here we have the wash water pump. So about 20 seconds after we turn the water on, we kick the pump on. As you can hear it, click on there. It's an electromagnetic pump, so the auger chain is always spinning the pump, but it doesn't engage until we hit the switch. And it, and it engages an electromagnetic clutch. This is the port where we fill the wash water, and don't get confused with the exhaust. And like you saw in the diagram, the wash water system operates between the squeegee and the blade right there, and this section right here. Again, the water is jetted towards the center, rinsing the ice off, then the wash water pump, with the suction hose right there, and the check valve sucks the water up into the wash water pump. All okay, right, so that's uh, how the wash water system works. And this is the, the pump that sucks the water back up into the, the tank. The tank goes this way and it, and it comes from this way. So here's my new impeller. If you probably could tell just a little bit with the light, it looks a, a little bit greasy. So this blue one's been soaked in oil, so it's gonna, be, it's gonna last a little bit longer than a black one. And this one is about $95. So they're not cheap. Uh, nothing on the Zamboni is cheap. So again, we gotta make sure that we turn, uh, put it on right so these things are flopped backwards. So sometimes this can be actually a, a bit of a pain. Gonna have to turn and push at the same time. So my hand's gonna get in the way, so I apologize. And get the bottom in first and I'll flop these little pillars down there. There we go. See, I got it halfway in. Still need to spin it this way though to get it to churn. 
We get it lined up on those gears right there. On the, I don't know why I call them gears. Sprocket. Make sure that's all lined up in there. Does it look like it's, there we go. It's going on, not easy, but it's going on. There we go. Ah. See them, they're folding down now. Just need some old man strength. I mean, it look like I'm almost in there, but I still got a little bit that, a little bit to go there. Now, one thing I didn't talk about is on the other side of this plate, on the other side of this pump, there is a wear plate. Um, on the old machine, I've replaced that wear plate a few times. Got our all important gasket right here, so you gotta make sure this goes on right. All right, there she is. She's all in there. Let's go ahead and put this little blue cap in there. That um, it's a little bit smaller than. Huh. I have to call Zamboni about that. That seems a little bit smaller than the black one. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna put it in there for now, but I'm gonna call uh, Don, ask him about that. I'm gonna go ahead and hand tighten all these things. And I know it's not like a tire, but we'll tire lugs, but we'll tighten them in a sequence. Take this extension off. Oh, that says we're gonna do it in a sequence, so let's do this one. Then this one. Then this one. Alright, that's tight. Let's go ahead and do let's do them all. This in a row. Pretty secure. All right, there's a wash water pump. All right, so this is your black impeller pump right here. The standard's black that comes with the machine. If you're uh, going to buy a new one, get the blue one. Again, it's soaked in oil, so it's going to last a little bit longer. It's going to not burn up if you happen to run it dry or, or run out of wash water or get some new high school kit on the machine. So again, this one's uh, this one's toast. So we're going to go ahead and uh, give it the toss over the shoulder. I guess like the local ice man says, you know it's coming. Stay cool.